everyone and welcome to my channel and to my winter series. This is I guess fourth painting I think in a winter series and today I will be painting a lantern and I will be painting in monochrome everything actually in black and I did make my sketch this lantern so it will be available for download from my website. You can go ahead find the link down in the description box go to my website download it trace it and we can get started. As I said, I did make my sketch and just on a regular printing paper and then trace it onto watercolor paper using a graphite paper. And when finished with that, I'm using just this new eraser to pick up the excess graphite. Even though my lantern is gonna end up to be completely different because I covered my sketch with black and later on I could not really see it. So just make your sketch dark enough around maybe the place where the light is that shouldn't be so dark but it can you know we will use black there also but just the other parts make quite black so you can see your sketch later on that upper part I couldn't have seen so as I said my lantern this ended up to be completely different but you know I did not mind that it ended up okay maybe just a little bit on tilted on one side but that is also okay why not you know it happens also in nature and outside for a lantern to be a little bit tilted. So next thing I did, I did not prevent the paper but just used a large mobile brush to pick up a very very light wash of black. I've added a lots of water and with that I actually prevented the paper. You can paint on everything except on the part where the light is. That part should be left white and if you have a masking fluid and it makes it easier for you maybe you can mask it but if not just go around it. Don't paint that. That should be left white. Everything else you can go over it doesn't matter but just that part should be left white and when I've added that first layer um, on top of it I'm adding a lot more layers with black going darker and darker and darker and in that part you can see where the where that like it's not really horizon line but it is it is the land that is the place where there is some woods maybe so that part when you paint it just paint the make your strokes going upwards mimicking some trees and maybe foliage and on the side on the side on the left side there is some grass maybe that it's not covered or it's in dark shadow and you know something like that so that could, you can paint that just wiggling your brush with the tip but the part that is behind the lantern is actually should be some trees so just when painting that do your strokes well, I guess vertically, right? Yes. And again, as I said, I was just being careful not to touch the lantern in the part where the light is. Also, I've used a little bit darker black, actually very saturated black to paint in that line. The border between the part where the grass is, where the lower grasses are, bushes maybe, and the part where the trees start. And also that part on the right side I left white. I did paint it slightly with a very very light gray wash but it is almost white. So now with the smaller brushes I've added some texture, maybe some shadows in a snow because that part is actually snow. So some sh we, um, I wanted to left some shadows there and maybe some dirt you know from from people walking from shoes or something like that and when finished also with that with a script brush I've painted in some branches Th those are also bushes but left without the foliage because you know it's winter and also added a couple of grasses maybe sticking through the snow Again with dry brush, I've dried it onto my towel, I picked up again paint without a lot of water, there is not a lot of water in my paint and do some dry brushing technique added the darkest shadows in my snow and afterwards I've added some shadows to, the, to those branches, to those not really branches but bushes and I used a very very light gray and then darkened a little bit that part on the left 
where the bushes are. And as you can see, I'm using very little water in my brush, just barely any water, just enough so that I can move the paint around on the paper, but not really a lot. And when finished with that, I moved on again to my foliage. And this time I again used a very little water, but I did use just a little bit more than in the lower part. And with a script brush, I've added some branches to the trees. Since that paper is watered and wet, those branches will spread and look as though they are well, out of focus, but that is the point. And after that, on top of it, I've added just water sprinkles or sprinkles from just the clean water and afterwards I left it to dry completely and moved on to painting my lantern and I painted it in a dark black and as I said I've lost my sketch I couldn't have seen it so I was just swiggling it and painting it from my head and I guess it turned out to be quite different than on my sketch. part around the light I've painted I've used a very small detail brush and black paint to paint those metal parts that are around the light and then used a flat brush to pick up the paint in the middle part because I do want it to look as though there is some light shining and on that on those metal handles and so I've removed paint and I think it looks as it looks more as though the some light is shining there. And then I've used just a little bit of white to add some highlights to my lanterns. Maybe there are not highlights, maybe there are snow that has fallen onto the lantern. Again, a little bit more details to the shadows and the snow. And at the end, I will add some sprinkles with white, actually a lots of sprinkles with white. And some are going to be smaller and some are going to be quite larger because I don't want them to look as stars. I want them to look as snow. So if you're trying to achieve snow, you should have a larger splatters also that they will look as though they are maybe out of focus again. And look more like a snow and not actually like the stars and with that i'll be finishing off this painting and this video i hope you guys like it and if you do please hit the like button share it comment and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel that would really mean a lot to me and if you want to go a step further consider joining my channel press that join next to subscribe listen to offer and then decide also all the palettes that i'm using in my videos most of them actually are my own there is also a link down in the description box so if you want to check it out go ahead and do that again thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye